Hello. Uh, my name is uh, Alan Sandvik. Uh, I'm an operation engineer at uh, Island Offshore Subsea. Uh, we are based in uh, here in Stavanger, and um, the company was founded in uh, 2005. Uh, we uh, handle operations on uh, three light well intervention vessels, Island Frontier, Island Well Server, and Island Constructor. Uh, we're going to look into um, some details of our operation, and uh, we're also going to take a look at some HSE benefits with this new concept, and um, we're going to touch on some new technology and uh, challenges for the future. Uh, the idea behind the LWI concept was um, to um, develop a cheaper and more time-efficient way to uh, perform subsea well interventions. Our uh, operations are performed from uh, a DP vessel, and we run all kinds of bioline tools. Uh, among the most frequent ones, uh, we have perforation guns, plug running and retrieval, uh, downhole safety insert valves, and uh, all kinds of uh, logging tools. Um, our uh, vessels are also set up to um, to perform pumping operations. Every vessel has its own pumping system, and it also has a uh, two-inch black eagle hose installed. Um, re the recent years, we've um, done a lot of uh, prep for workover operations, uh, where we installed plugs in the well, we punched the tubing, and we um, displaced the well to hu heavy fluid. Uh, so that the rig can go straight in, uh, or actually on vertical systems, we also pull the Christmas tree so the rig can go straight in and um, uh, run BOP, and uh, they save a lot of time, rig time on that. Uh, we don't run any uh, risers through our operations. We uh, run the tool string in open sea, and it's uh, lubricated into the well by use of a subsea lubricator section, which is installed on top of the VCP and uh, on top of the Christmas tree. The first installation sequence is um, the well control package. It is run on wire and it's installed on top of the Christmas tree. Um, this is our main uh, well barrier function. It has BOP functions with shared seal ram, two production installation valves and sideboard barrier valves. Uh, it has an umbilical termination head. The umbilical is an uh, electric cable uh, with fiber optics and uh, there's a separate uh, chemical injection umbilical. The VCP has no uh, hydraulic supply from uh, surface, so um, there's a subsea HPU and accumulators installed. And the um, control system uh, has a XD controller to supply hydraulic functions to the, the Christmas tree. The well kill connector is uh, our receptacle for the two inch black eagle hose. And uh, on the bottom, there's a well-specific Christmas tree adapter attached to the VCP by a speed lock connector. The second installation sequence is the subsea lubricator section. It lubricates uh, tool string lengths up to 22 meters, and it consists of uh, three parts. The upper lubricator package with a cutting ball valve for uh, cutting the violin cable, and uh, it also has a circulation uh, outlet. The second part is the lubricator tubular with the violin grease reservoir and uh, uh, pumps for the grease. And the third is the lower lubricator package with the um, safety joint and the hydraulic pumps and accum accumulators. The third and repeated runs are the pressure control head. Um, this is our um, primary valve barrier. Uh, it is run between every bottom hole assembly change out and um, every vessel has two of uh, the pressure control head so that one can be active on the well while the other one is uh, being prepared on deck for the next vial line run. The well specific adapter is the interface towards the various Christmas tree systems. Um, on uh, horizontal systems, it's um, a 18 three quarter inch H4 connector and um, it has a field-specific uh, seal sub made to sting into the seal pocket on the tubing hanger. Uh, on the vertical Christmas trees, there's um, normally it's a 13.58 inch connector, but
but the type will vary from uh, system to system. And here there's uh, two field-specific uh, seal subs made to sting into uh, production and analyst seal pocket on the Christmas tree reentry hub. Uh, on vertical system, the adapter also serves to uh, distribute hydraulic functions to the Christmas tree. And on horizontal systems, the, there we have a separate uh, hydraulic jumper from the VCP to the Christmas tree. I also have a small animation movie. All right. Yes, it works. This is Island Constructor. Here you can see the, the tree debris cap. This is m uh, some uh, one of the first things we do is to pull the tree debris cap when we enter well location. Then we do some high pressure jetting and uh, acid cleaning. Here you can see the belt control package hanging in the tower. The lower part there is the uh, Christmas tree adapter. As I said, it's being deployed on, on wire and uh, we also use three guide wires, which is hooked up to the template. Here you can see the VCP coming down for landing on top of Christmas tree. You can see the vessel movement on the stack. Uh, but then they enter into active heat compensated mode on uh, the winch. Then they can go slowly down and land. This is the lubricator section with the lower lubricator package at the bottom being prepared for run in, in the tower. It's being lifted out of its trolley. When it's not in use, uh, it's parked in the, the trolley hung off in the tower. We uh, hook up uh, ROV operated guide slings. And here we coming down to land on top of the VSP. There's a hydraulic connector in the in the VCP we lock. This is the pressure control head being prepared on deck. And these are uh, the tool string lengths. Um, in this animation, it looks like we just drag it into the tower with a, a tugger. But uh, in real life, we hold back with a, a crane on deck. So it's handled nice and safe into the tower. This is actually um, the only uh, unguided lifting operation we do during our interventions, but uh, these are fairly lightweight components. Here we're ready to hook up the violin cable to the top of the tool string. And uh, now they run in with the tool string. They run into 15 meters and then they open hatches and then we run the pressure control head and the tool and the tool string uh, simultaneously down to the lubricator section. The ROV helps to stab in the tool string into the lubricator section. And here you can see the violin compensator sheave going into active heave compensated mode. We land uh, PCH and ROV helps to disconnect the, the running tool. And then we lock the hydraulic connector 
Uh, after we locked it, we uh, do a pressure test and uh, we equalize the pressure towards the valve and uh, open through valves in the stack and then we're ready to run in hole with the vial line. This is just an example of uh, many wireline tools we can run. This is the kickover tool installing a gas lift valve into a side pocket mandrel. Uh, regarding standards and regulations, we, um, uh, our organization and our vessel conform to uh, the Norwegian Petroleum Regulations. And um, all our three vessels uh, have um, an acknowledgement of conformity declaration from the, the PSA. When it comes to the wireline operations, we uh, operate in accordance with NORSOC standard D010 and NORSOC standard D002. D010 um, influences our uh, uh, operational procedures and NOSOC uh, D002 uh, gives direction for our equipment setup. When it comes to the design of the VCP, a long list of standards is take, uh, have been taken into consideration. Uh, I'm not going through all those details, but uh, the most relevant ones are API 6A and uh, ISO 13. Uh, 628-4, 6, and 7. If you look at the barrier envelope drawing, you can see the blue line, uh, which marks our primary valve barrier. Uh, this is the PCH on top. The blue line goes all the way on to top. And uh, our secondary barrier is the shear seal ram in the stack, which is marked by the, the red line. We're going to look into some HSE benefits with the concept. Um, the main difference between LWI and the conventional wireline operations done from a rig is that the uh, rig will have uh, work overizer strings all the way from the Christmas tree up to drill floor, and then they rig up their uh, wireline tools on top of the their work overizer stick up. We, on the other hand, operate a little bit different, as you saw in the movie. Uh, another important difference is that uh, our vessels aren't locked to bottom uh, by risers anytime during our operations. So um, that makes us better off in a um, drift-off scenario or a major accident scenario. This is a comparison between uh, uh, the cost of well intervention it shows the cost uh, of doing well intervention from different locations. Mm -hmm. And as you can see uh, on the right hand in the chart, the, um, the cost of doing subsea interventions is uh, much higher than uh, land and platform interventions. Um, with the LWI concept, we have reduced the cost of subsea interventions to approximately a third of a semi-submersible. And uh, the factors behind this cost reduction are a lower day rate and uh, higher transit speed. Uh, we don't do any anchor handling and um, we don't waste any time on running risers. As a direct result of the cost reduction, um, the frequency of interventions has gone up and um, the oil recovery percentage has also increased. Uh, traditionally, uh, the uh, recovery factor from a subsea completed well is uh, around 35%. On a platform completed well, it's um, around 50, in some places up to 70. And if oil recovery is increased with only 1%, 
This means approximately uh, 5 billion NOC extra profit per year on the Norwegian continental shelf. And uh, Statoil has set their target for oil recovery um, on subsea producers to 55 percent, which, uh, which is a, a fairly high target. And uh, for them to reach uh, this ambitious target, uh, LVI service is a vital tool. Here you can see the, the deck on Island Frontier. Um, this is the skidding system. All standard equipment has a dedicated spot and uh, all uh, heavy equipment handling is done either by the skidding system or uh, uh, with the guided lifting operation. This is the well control package uh, being deployed uh, through the moon pool and it's guided by the lower cursor frame. The lower cursor frame also has uh, guide arms for the lubricator section. Uh, as you saw in the movie, we build our tool strings uh, at deck level. Uh, this is a great improvement for all personnel involved uh, compared to uh, how they do it on a drilling rig, where they build their tool strings five to seven meters above the uh, drill floor. And they also have to con consider a constant moving stick up due to, uh, to rig heave. Uh, we, on the other hand, have no uh, overhead equipment rigging and um, no need for personnel in uh, man rider winches. And uh, most important of all, since our primary valve barrier is placed subsea, we uh, do not have any personnel uh, working on pressurized uh, well control equipment. Our um, alliance partner, FMC, are currently manufacturing a new generation of VCP. It's called Stack 4. And this is uh, actually not so different from the existing uh, VCPs. Um, the key word is simplification. It has taken into consideration all the um, operational experience from the former three uh, VCP that has been in service for many years. And um, one new feature is um, increased accumulator capacity to uh, enable uh, sharing capabilities on deeper waters. Uh, this one is built to handle down to uh, 2,000 uh, meters. It's a module-based design which uh, makes maintenance and repair e easier. Instead of bringing the whole stack uh, onshore for repair, uh, we can easily change out single modules on board. And uh, the control system is built uh, according to SEAL 2 requirements. This has also been simplified to reduce the number of sources of error. Uh, we have a lot of vial line runs from each vessel every year, approximately 100. And if we can save time on um, uh, not hooking up guide wires, uh, we figured that would be a, a, a great amount of time saved. Um, so recently we implemented uh, our guide wireless running tool for the PCH. Uh, we are very happy with the results so far. and. Um, if we could implement uh, a similar concept when we run heavier equipment like the VCP or the lubricator section, that would um, probably save even more time. But there's still some challenges to be resolved before we get there. Uh, we also uh, strive to expand our uh, operational windows. So uh, that basically boils down to uh, vessel movement characteristics. So early this year, Island Offshore ordered uh, the vessel you can see in the picture. It's a fairly large vessel. It's 169 meters long and 28 meters wide. And um, we have high expectations for, uh, for this vessel, especially when it comes to, uh, to uh, movement characteristics. It also has a built-in tower to uh, prevent dropped ob objects like falling ice. And it has a helipad uh, placed uh, closer to midship to increase helicopter operability. Uh, we also hope to utilize ship-to-ship um, -ship transfer of uh, cargo and equipment as long as the weather allows it. And this one is being delivered in 2017 and uh, we still don't have any contracts for it. So, thanks. Thank you, Alan. Uh, is there any questions? Front there. Hello there. Hello. And uh, yeah, for 
the horizontal Christmas trees when you perform the intervention. So you expose the expose the tree and the upper equipment to uh, well pressure. If you just can cycle back and say how you provide the double barrier in this case, when you yeah you you actually bypass the the master valve and mean valve. Mm -hmm. Uh, actually, I went too far, I think. You were thinking of this one? This is horizontal, yes. Uh, yeah, when we remove the, the upper and lower crown plug, we uh, the bell is uh, very straight open. for to, uh, We have an open bell. Uh, but um, the second and the primary barrier is taken care of by the VCP, the valve control package. The the uh, upper part there is the lubricator section with the con pressure control head on top and that is our uh, our main barrier towards the valve one while we are in the valve with Viline. It has Viline grease and a flow tube, um, pretty much like a surface Viline, it's pretty identical to a surface Viline uh, grease head. Or um, and the second, uh, second uh, barrier is the shear seal ram which sits lower in the stack in the VCP. And um, yeah, it's uh, the connector of the VCP is uh, sitting on top of the Christmas tree. And uh, you have one barrier in the VX seal, and then you have another barrier in the field specific seal sub that sting into the, the tubing hanger. So, so that's this our two th barriers. This shear ram is a like BLP ram. Yeah, pretty much. It doesn't have the same uh, cutting capabilities, but it can cut up to two, s two seven eighths inch coil tubing or something. But we never run coil tubing, uh, not up until now at least. But uh, we only run wire. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Any more questions for uh, Island Offshore? Okay, then we say thank you to Island Offshore. Thank you very much. <laughs>